Hey guys, it's Running Kimono. So at the speed of procrastination and the last minute, I am whipping together a very special basket for my mother-in-law for Mother's Day. And um, I just threw this together in all of five minutes this afternoon. And I thought I would record a video for you guys um, in case you need a little inspiration on how to get a basket together. So I just thought I would quickly go through my stockpile, get creative and whip together just like a little um, spa kind of um, basket, you know, stuff that she could do at home or enjoy at home and um, make it kind of look nice and feminine and elegant as best as I can. Uh, I'm going to just let you guys know right off the bat, I am not really good with these sort of baskets. I know there are some ladies here on YouTube who are just phenomenal. Lots of ladies on Instagram too, who really have a flair for this sort of thing. But you know, I try my best and um, this is basically a really old Easter basket that I got at Target a couple years ago and I am just going to build from there. It's very, very deep so I had to put a lot of filler in the bottom to build it up because this stuff is a little heavier and these are some of the goodies. We have a Caress body wash. Um, I am always buying Yankee candles online so I have a lavender vanilla I had bought for my mother-in-law a while ago so I have that for her and some nail stuff. Um, I threw the polishes in this cute little cellophane bag, more Sally Hansen, some Qtex products and some um, other goodies and we have some candy as well those were in my husband's uh, secret stash so I'm like you're giving those to your mom so I'm just gonna start building uh, the basket right now and it just comes together really really quickly um, I kind of fiddled and farted around with it a bit so I'm gonna kind of do a jump cut here of another edit of the final product because I just could not get the basket situated properly and here we are um, I decided to put the candle more in the center than hidden in the back and just all these goodies. I don't tape anything down. I know that's like a secret hack of basket builders. They always tape stuff down, but I just try to situate everything as best as I can. I also didn't use cellophane to um, tie this whole thing together. What I did was I just put a really nice piece of tissue paper over the top of the bow. Uh, I don't have a photo of that though, but just trying to make everything look as best as I can and work together in some sort of feng shui manner and that's always easier said than done but I think this all this stuff kind of like looks like it belongs together and it's amazing what you can do with your stockpile you can just like put stuff together at a moment's notice and it kind of makes sense um, but this is more like a nail kind of like you know just enjoy um, a quiet afternoon or evening at home and lots of Qtex products, which are always nice. And a couple of candies from my husband's super secret stash. So yeah, I think it looks really great. And um, I just uh, was trying to make everything fit, but I had a hard time. The thing that I try to watch out for is I don't want any cat hair and I don't want it to look like it's just thrown together because um, I want it to look really nice. And here it is with the little handle and I just put some white uh, tissue paper over the top and it looks so nice. So I know my mother-in-law will absolutely love that. Um, and you know, she's a really nice lady. Uh, we get along really well. Uh, so I know this will really make her Mother's Day uh, a happy one on Sunday. So uh, yeah, it turned out I think pretty okay and I just wanted to share this with you guys um, even if you want to throw something together for your mom or you know mother-in-law or aunt or anybody that you love that's a woman um, this will take you all of like five minutes and most of us have this stuff in our stockpiles and it really makes um, a day extra special for moms I think or you know for a special person in your life on Mother's Day so that's it for this video guys as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one